Day it is. My name is Jaime, giving you the vents on headlines that you didn't even know you needed. And before I get started, I'd appreciate it if you would hit me with a subscription, smash that like button once in a while, and turn on them notifications because I'm here twice a week. And with that said, I got some vents. I got some good ones. And I'm gonna start with like a like a hypothetical, maybe you know, hypothetical is it a question or hypothetical scenario? I don't know what it is, but it is definitely like a hypothetical because this shit like never happens, and I don't know if it ever will happen. <laughs> so bear with me humans and here we go and so what if like war did end forever like there was no more war like like ever 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 and do you think war would ever end so that's like the question you know for the question i guess i don't know because it's like we've always been at war since our beginning of like existence what it looks like in all our history books it looks like that's all we do is fucking go to war it's just like we just battle, war, war, battle. You know, battle, battle, war, war. Conquer some shit, conquer, take over some shit. You know, build an empire, war. You know, it just seems like that's all that's going on around here. And I don't even know. You know, it seems like our history doesn't know anything else. I mean, you do hear these stories of advanced civilizations, right? And they had some weapons and shit, but where are they at? Probably because somebody got to battle with them and conquered them. And that's why they fucking ain't here no more. Because all we do is go to war with motherfuckers. It's weird. I mean, it's not weird. It's normal to us, I guess. Just like, you know, it's probably why the aliens don't want to fuck around and show us because we just want to fight. Like, we'll find a reason to fucking... I mean, we just do it with all of us and we're all humans. And we just fucking got to show everybody how different we are so we can have some wars and battles and conquer some more shit. But there's one thing I noticed every time we was in war. Like it's this one thing that I'm not, not like I've been in every war or something like that. I'm not like I'm not like Wolverine. <laughs> I'm overseeing and been through them all and shit, you know. But uh, what I noticed, you know, seeing that like you know all we have is you know there's a there's like consistent um, scenario that comes in to to play here when you look at all these um, wars. Seems like humans are the ones that do all the dirty work. That's right, humans. It seems like we're out there the ones like losing lives. It don't matter what side you're on, whether you're on this side, that side, good guys, the bad guys, whoever whoever you think is the good guys, the bad guys, you know, we're the ones always losing all the people. While the ones who start and create and, you know, give orders for all these wars seem to be pretty safe and, and free of danger. I think that's kind of weird. I mean, is there like some way you could sign up and be that free person to be safe? And like, I guess, you know, it's like, I guess they had to stay alive so they can get like super more rich and wealthy, I guess. Right. So I guess they had to stay alive because to who else is going to do it? Right. I guess somebody's got to do it. Why not be the guys that are already doing it? So they order us humans, you know, to go against these other strangers that are also humans and we're told to go and, you know, battle and take over their land or take over whatever and do whatever it is we're told to do and we go do it. While these people get to see sit safe, out of way, out of harm's way. I think that's kind of bananas, humans. Uh, but, uh, and I also don't agree with it. I just seem like every time we go to war, it seems like they get to stay safe somewhere and they don't go to war and we have to go to do it. And then when we come back, they're super rich and wealthy and and we're not had a little had a little weird mic uh, issue there. <laughs> so when they come back and uh, those guys are rich and wealthy and you know we're sitting here you know hurting and people are away from their families and things like that while you guys are going golfing and you know having these private getaways hanging out at like you know um, Epstein Island and shit like that. <laughs> Who knows where the fuck y'all are going? But. Like I said, I guess someone has to get rich and stay safe, you know, in their in their diaper filled expensive suits and their medical smelling mansions. <laughs> you know what? We go to war and go hurt everybody and kill all the humans while these people are just making billions and billions and billions of dollars. And 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 also laundering billions and trillions and billions of dollars. It's kind of crazy. 
I, you know what else still bugs me is when like our former president was in office. I mean, because <laughs> now everybody's pushing it now that it's getting closer to like, you know, his third year. It's getting closer to like that. I, I wonder how many people are like wishing this is probably the first time people wishing summer was like hurrying up and get over to get to November. <laughs> I love me some summer humans, but I think I might be on that list because like, it's like you get close when it got like to two years in, we're like, oh man, we hit like halfway there. And then the sun's out and shit and it's like, man, it's nice out and you know, and this and that. But then it's like, this dude's still here. And then gas went up another fucking gas is going way the fuck up. Gas is going up like motherfuckers, blood pressures and shit. They didn't even fucking around anymore. And he don't even care. Every time we like we complain, it's like he thinks like we're not gonna complain if he just raises it up more, you know. Like, oh well, you know, I gotta send some more money over here and over here. What's that gonna do? Well, gas going up tomorrow. You know, you guys look a little too happy. Gas is going up tomorrow. Happy, happy Independence Day. Gas is going up tomorrow. You know, it's like what the fuck? It's like gas is just going down. I'm already predicted for Fourth of July. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're gonna go travel this weekend? Here's some more gas money to go up. You know, fuck. Shit used to be like $2 a little bit ago. Damn. And then they're saying we got like a, now they're talking about energy crisis because my man don't want to fucking open up the, the fucking oil we can get to right now. Like, you know, if we have a crisis, wouldn't you want to fucking do some shit? They're like, yeah, but we're gonna, but we're not going to put the price down. You know, we might open it up, but it's still going to cost you a lot. It's like, thanks, Biden. <laughs> thanks a lot. And it still bothers me, like I said, that all the drugs get through, overdose is still on the rise, but we still can't get food and formulas, you know, we got to fucking ship it from somewhere else. And what's up with all, like, the oil that's produced here locally, like, you know, Texas and things like that, can't even ship it here. We got to, they got to ship it somewhere else because of some weird regulations on shipping that I don't even really know about. I just heard little shit about it and it's like, what? It makes me just want to curse and even more than I already do. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. This, this humans, this dude angers me sometimes and it shouldn't, it shouldn't because we're so close. Like I said, we're sitting here enjoying summer, but one in November to get here quick as hell because they're all saying they're already predicting all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And this dude's just tripping. He don't even care. Even when they were debating, when, uh, when, uh, he was debating with Trump to get into office and Trump was going for a second term. Trump even said, you're going to close the oil industry, aren't you? And Biden was like, yes. You know, and like, I am. And everybody still is like, what? We'll, we'll go Biden, you know? And now they're putting stickers on gas pumps and shit saying, I did that. You know, it's like people, it went from go Biden to FJB. They're putting them on car vehicles and shit. I mean, the president probably don't care because he probably owns the rights. He probably put the one selling all these products. This dude's doing a big money grab. I mean, everything is costing shitloads of money. You know he's making buttloads of money, this Biden crime family. They're going to get mad that I called him the crime family or whatever, but whatever. Whatever, man, whatever. <laughs> but you know what else I noticed, too? Like, when, when uh, Trump was in office, all these celebrities were, like, bashing him and trying to get you all to vote to get his ass out of there. And, like, they were making all these, like, interviews. Like, man, we're all in trouble, you know? Even, like, um, which one of them actors was it, man? He's got like a big nose and shit like mine and shit. Uh, De Niro, I think it was, when he was like, fuck Trump, you know, or whatever, some shit. But everybody was all these celebrities that go out there and vote. Go and votey vote. Votey, 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 vote. They was all like telling y'all doing us shit. Like, you know, go and vote. You know, go listen. To, and, you, you know, know Trump, Trump is, is bad. bad. Go vote. Go vote. You know, <laughs> they, now that he got him out and this dude's in, it's just fucking crickets. It's just like, I don't hear him saying anything right now. Like, Biden's cool. You know, where's all the cool, like, I don't see none of this support from the celebrities at all. Like, I don't see them all. I don't know what's going on here. But where are they now? Where are they? That's all I'm trying to say. They were all super political. They were all wearing the super political shorts. Shorts. Super <laughs> political shorts. And they were doing campaigns and telling everybody to go rock your vote and do the vote and do all this shit. And now they're not doing anything. You know, they're, you know. We're watching, you know, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard cases and watching all these celebrities do things and watching all their movies still and, you know, hoping to get their autographs and shit. But now where are they, man? Like, it's just crickets. I kind of feel like, I almost feel like they are okay with this. 
only because they're still really wealthy and we're still struggling. But I don't even think they care about our, our gas prices and food costs and everything going up in our inflation because they're very wealthy and it doesn't affect them because they'll still pay it. I mean, they'll go to a place and, uh, you know, to a place and eat a fucking $600 fucking, you know, order of cheese sticks. <laughs> like, we got to pay fucking, it's fucking almost $7 now for some shit. And we're all like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's got to like, here's my $600 appetizer. And I'm like, damn. And that's probably not even the expensive shit. Like, I'm seeing $600 because that'd be like the number I can think of. But in their super rich, I don't even, I fly, I fly privately world. It, $600 is probably, you know, what the drink costs. And I might even be low in ball in that shit on the real. <laughs> but I don't think they care about all this shit costing us all this money. They just want us to watch their movies and listen to their fucking music and read their fucking books and all that other shit they do, you know? And the sucky part is that's, that's the hard truth about it. <laughs> that sucks about it because, you know, you might be super fans of somebody like I'm fans of some celebrities and believe it or not, you know, they got to fucking... Uh, listen to who their bosses are because maybe there is a bunch of celebrities out there who give a shit a little bit. Maybe there is some. But like, <laughs> the problem is, there probably is celebrities out there that, that do care, even though we, you know, we want to know like, oh, why don't we hear from this person? And why don't we hear from this person? Like, where the fuck is the Caprio? And where the fuck is yada? Yeah, yeah. You know, where the fuck is that? Like, where's somebody trying to help us? Come on, Brad Pitt. Somebody come out here and stick up for us. You know, somebody come out here. You know, and no, nobody is, you know, the reason, you know, probably could be, like I said, their bosses, their bosses could be those um, reptilian shape shifting Satan worshiping overlords I speak of. And they probably won't let them. They probably don't have the permission from their fucking overlords. And um, it's a shame. <laughs> it's a damn shame, humans, that these guys ain't going to fucking get no permission to come out here. But we'll see what happens, you know, in the next, you know, like I said, November's coming quick and enjoy your summer now. But I said, like I said, there's some people leaning, you know, wanting that shit to get a little closer to getting the year three out the way. <laughs> get, this shit, get, get this shit rolling. You know, the way we were trying to hurry up and get through the pandemic and everything where everybody was just like, let's hurry up and get through this shit. Come on, let's go. You know, first it was like, let's slow the curve and let's do that. And, they, and you know, we had to keep going through some things and we were just like, OK, maybe now we got some, you know, maybe now we got some control of things. And no, we had to wait longer. So. <laughs> we'll see what happens humans we'll see what happens we're close we're close to see what's going down are we gonna get put into some more mess or maybe some people gonna like you know change this crap back to some sort of normalcy we'll see humans but we'll have to see but all i know is <laughs> it's gonna be another bumpy ride that's all i know and what's and all the smear campaigns like i spoke on a previous episode there's gonna be some super smear campaigns it's probably gonna be another smear campaign like 2.0 episode because once, like, it's election time, we're going to see all the dirt on everybody coming out. And I wonder if anybody's going to use any of the Epstein stuff. I hope they do because I don't want to. We should not let this story go down, humans. I don't know how many times we're going to keep breaking it up and like a broken record. But we shouldn't let this stuff go down because we really need to know who these people are. It could be these people that's making everything cost so much. And I don't want to say, like, oh, it is for sure or nothing like that. But you just never damn know. You just never damn know. It's always the ones you never know. That's what they say. It's always the ones we just don't know. But anyways, real quick, humans. Uh, tonight, like I said, um, you know, it's another big fight night. Uh, we got Cambosis going against Devin Haney. Uh, what's his name? He got, uh, What's their nicknames? Uh, I think it's like De uh, George uh, Ferocious Cambosis. Oh, that's real creative. No, I'm just kidding. And then you got uh, Devin, I think the Dream Haney. That almost sounds like some old teeny teeny bopper back in the day type hot throb type shit. Like Devin the Dream. You know, he was like some character on a TV show. But uh that's his like I think his uh, nickname and, and uh those guys are fighting tonight. It's gonna be another good uh another good fight. <laughs> uh Cambosis is Australian and he's a champ and he's undefeated. I think they're both undefeated. And Haney went over to Australia to fight him. And then he was having trouble getting his uh I think his father and his, one of his trainers to come over there, they were having issues to get them over in Australia. And I wonder if the government was just kind of um, making things harder for them to maybe, you know, if it, they thought it would um, maybe like uh, handicap um, Haney and the fighter or something like that. 
But I don't think that matters because Haney, Haney's the one in the ring. It doesn't matter if his dad's in the corner or not. You know, the fighter's the one making the adjustments, even when the dude's yelling in your ear. Because I'm sure you can hear him in a, in a while, at, you know, in the beginning of the fight. But after a few rounds of getting hit by somebody a bunch, like, you know, like a high output puncher, you know what I'm saying? And your you're, uh, trainer's yelling shit. You can see when the demeanor of a fighter changes in the corner. Like, even Floyd. Like, Floyd had his dad and his uncle yelling shit. Like, first you see him looking at him like, oh, yeah, this is funny, this and that. You know, but like five to seven, you know, from five to seven and getting close to the championship round, Floyd didn't even looking at them guys. You know, he's just sitting there. He's got his hands on his knees just like, hmm. You know, he's just thinking, you know, looking at that fighter, analyzing. Dude, you, you hit a different, you hit a, you hit a point <laughs> where you're just not going to. So I don't think the trainer being there is going to matter. But anyways, they're in Australia fighting. And um, uh, Cambosis, that's his hometown, his home country. So it's, I hope they don't give him like that Jeff Horn fucking bullshit that happened when he fought Pacquiao. Because I thought Pacquiao won the fight, even though that shit was sloppy and nasty and like a brawl. It was like a weird, dirty, it was almost like a street fight, man. It was like with gloves on because it was crazy. The only thing they couldn't do was just, you know, do throws and shit, like takedowns. It was kind of wild. That fight was a little rough. And then the referees just said, boom, like like Pacquiao lost. That was crazy. Even the announcers got mad. I loved when uh, Teddy Atlas was like, you don't win a fight for trying hard. <laughs> He's like, and he like yelled it to Jeff Horn's face because I don't think you won. I don't think you should win a, a decision for trying hard. I can't do his accent. <laughs> or the Australian accent. So I apologize if anybody Australia out there, if I offend you for trying to do your accent. Because I can only do probably like two words. And it's nah and yeah. I think that would only be the way I could accurately do your accent. <laughs> like George Cambosa would be like, you know, David Haynes like, you're going to win. And then George Cambosa is like, nah, you're not going to win. They're like, you're going to win? He's like, yeah, nah, yeah. You know, I don't know if we, when you say yeah and when you say no, when you mean yes or no. Because, like, I, you know, he said it really fast. So I'm excited about the fight tonight. <laughs> but I'm right now I was leaning, I was leaning towards Haney towards the fight. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick the upset, uh, whatever everybody's pick is. And I'm going to go with Cambosis, the ferocious. They're like, nah, yeah, I'm going to go with the Australian. And I'm going to go with Cambosis tonight. I was wrong with my last pick. I went with the underdog. And it's like I said, um, Cambosis is coming in. I think he's like, um, has the less reach. He's a, he is a smaller fighter and Haney's um, the taller fighter. Man, like I said, this is like a good test for Haney, like I said, because he's a good fighter, man. And he's like, he just hasn't had good names. Um, it, like I said, big names against his, all his opponents. But it doesn't take away from his skill. So this is going to be awesome gauge for him. This is going to be a good fight. But I'm going to go with Cambosis being in the home country. And we'll see what goes down. And I hope you all enjoyed this episode, humans. And if you did, I'd appreciate it. If you smash that like button, hit me with a subscription, and turn on his notifications. My name is Jaime, and this has been another episode of Meant to Vent. Till next time, humans. See ya. Oh, yes, yes, y'all.